is going on guys skip here and welcome back to another episode in our road to glory series today we're back with some red bull cricket as we kick off round number 12 of the english county cup against derby and boy is this going to be a monster the outlaws getting the result last episode derby down the bottom of the table it's a massive rivalry today but we're only 28 points off durham at the top with all teams playing 11 games the rdv will when you're the captain of this team i tell you what you just want to get in put in a shift and hopefully get the boys out on top the form is good he's looking all right 97 overall we're just waiting for that big bag of wickets and i don't think it is too far away we've got one more four day match before plenty of hundred and then into a test series ladies and gents so grab yourself a cold one don't mess around get your feet up and continue to enjoy the career of Robin DeBank. Welcome to Leeds. Yes, it is Leeds for this match between Derby and the Outlaws. Their home ground not getting up for this, and we can't play at Trent Bridge because that would be far too easy. It is Leeds. We'll meet in the middle, and I tell you what, we're looking forward to it. We welcome in Malto. We welcome in Wayno. Both captains out in the middle. Tails is a call. We know it never fails. And on this occasion, we get the toss on a medium standard, 19 degrees, a little bit of breeze, and we're looking for that big bagger five robin looks at the captain and says pat up ladies and gents it is time so there's no messing about both umpires are there the rdb has his final say to the lads the court and is packed harry came faces up you know the rules we don't change the field as we roll in first up full and fast inside edge oh how was that miss the stumps well, you talk about setting the standards in a massive rivalry game. That is an inside edge. Oh, boy, that is just missed. A full and fast seems to work. He's caught on the crease. The slips are packed. And we're good to go leading edge this time. No run. Well, the tail is up. Maybe today is his day. We go full and fast again. There's another inside edge, boy. He's giving it to him. Well, he's been a bit of a bunny in the past. So have plenty of these English bats. When we roll in, he sneaks the first slip, and there's the first one of the match. Robin DeBank strikes. Malto's got his finger up, and the boys are having a party. Well, you could just sense that something was going to happen. Inside edge, inside edge, outside edge. Good catch at first slip. Benny Duck, it does not drop them. Harry came. Harry went for a duck. It's one for none as Louis Deploy rolls to the middle. And boy, does it feel good when you pick up a wicket in your first four balls. Can we get two in six? Oh, the first ball to Louis whipped a square leg for no run. So an extremely eventful. First over, last of it. Wicket Maiden looks good. No, he gets a thick outside edge for four. Six balls are done, and it's four for one. So Shaheen gets through his first. We're going to keep the field the same. I'm liking the three slips here as Deploy whips the first of our second. So the neutral crowd there or thereabouts, surely. The Outlaws have got plenty traveling up as we get driven to point. He's on a mission here, big Deploy. He wants to play square of the wicket. We don't mind that, so we just keep it in that channel, make him play every ball. So he scampers through for a single. First ball to the left-handed wag staff. He's back lollipop and a backward point no run. Well, I think they've just pulled this bloke's name out of the hat. We roll in again. He works it to short mid-wicket. Closes out our second three. A done and derby. A seven for one. A very clean start by these two international bowlers. We kick off the fifth and deploys back. We chuck it at him. Oh, yes, we do. But 100 with the bat. Confidence is key with everything here. Oi, well bowled, well played, well fielded. But that length ball is going to get met with the back foot. How about a slower one on the legs? No, nope, that's going to get whipped square. Well, if he wants to do that, I wonder if he'll take on the bouncer. Oh, he does beautifully for no run. Well, I know it's early in this spell, but we've got to show him everything we've got. Oh, he's just wedging it out. So a maiden incoming. It could have been 20 off. He goes in again. Fine backward point. It's the end of the fifth. The maiden over and it stays at 12 for one. So he can't find a gap. Well, we're just very lucky. We roll in. This time he's back and watching. That's a much better channel. Really clean first effort here from Robin. He goes again. There's the leading edge, and it goes over mid on for four. Well, he can play square of the wicket. We're causing enough havoc here as he roll in. Nice little outswinger. No single this time. 
It might just be the time for the cheeky little outswinger here. Good conditions. Oh, he's back and he finds a gap between gully and backward point. That is a shot and a half. He finally gets one in the gap after all of those practice shots. We go in again this time. He's forward of point no run. I don't understand how he just doesn't get forward and press. Halfway through, outswingers in and there it is again. It's been a solid five overs so far. We'll finish with the bouncer he gets on the back, Todd, again. These are incredible shots. Nine are done, and it's 24 for one. So they've got to the 10 over mark. Wagstaff faces, takes the pull shot on. He gets to wide mid on. How short mid wicket hasn't caught that, I'll never know. But fair placement from the batsman as they're back for two. Well, the signs are good that he wants to take the short ball on. We go again. Oh, he's underneath. We try and get Wagstaff forward here. Oh, we do, and he laces that through mid on. That is a beautiful shot. Fair play, and it's four. Well, we accept those. I'll tell you that much right now. Last of the over has him duck and 11 a bolt. Go and have a word with him, and it's 31 for one. We're bowling a seventh over in this spell. Very rare. Oi, and that's been tucked around the corner for four. The wag start with a single, deploy back on strike, slower ball, still finds that man at point. We've just got to angle this bouncer in a bit better to leg stump. There you go, and we square him up. We could be on here. I'm thinking this is going to be the last of the spell, and we've just got this bouncer nice and direct. Oh, he's forward and back and defending 13, a done, and it's 38 for one. Well, we're in for over number eight. This bloke is an absolute freak. We go short, he takes it on another dot ball. Something's brewing here. Do we go full to him? We do, and he picks it up, and oh my gosh, square leg just watches it go to the fence for four, you absolute coward. Well, whoever that was, he's doing his best not to get a game next week, because we're in again this time. He smashes us over mid-off. What is happening? Derby go bang back to back. So he gets a chance, Louis Deploy, and he's taken it. We finished the over with a bouncer. He's on the back foot, close up the 15th, probably a spell, and it's 46 for one. I don't know if this is a glitch, but we are bowling some serious overs here. Wagstaff forward. Enjoying this contest. One for 32 of hopefully nine as he works it through wide mid on. Forget the one for 32. She's probably going to the fence for four. Close it up. No, well fielded. They're back for three. So the spell was had, but I tell you what, it was not for long. The 50 comes up, it's now 74 for one. We get stuck into our 10th over and the left-handed wag starts defending. And we'll go around the wicket. Still three slips in a gully, keep him thinking, and he's back defending while bold. Oh no, he takes a single on the lollipop. Well, that's a coach killer, a captain killer, and well, a county killer. We can only blame ourselves for that. 37 conceded off 10. It's been a decent effort as he drives again into the stump. Suck eggs, brother. 24 are done, and it's 76 for one. They will go in swingers nice and full. If he drives, fair play. Oh, we'll whip that off his legs. Give him one. Just miss the line. A solid fight back here from the RDB as we close in on lunch. He's across the line. This wicket looks good. So another little spell had. And we're back for probably the last over before lunch. 94 for one it is. In swing and Yorker first up gets absolutely hammered over mid off for four. Derby are on a mission. Well, I must say that is a good 50 from Deploy. This time he turns it around the corner. He is proving hard to bowl to here and a monster is on the cards. The last ball of our 12th, the 29th, out swinging Yorker is driven, met, overdone, and it's 99 for one. A little bit of protection out on the offside. We start a fresh over and he turns the corner. Boy, he's taken the mick out of us here. Might have to start bowling cutters to deploy. Wagstaff nervous for 50. Oh, and he gets there with one whipped forward of square between midwicket, and that is another good 50. You'd never think that an outlaw would be saying that about a ram, but hey, they've batted well as he takes on the pull shot. Fine leg hasn't seen it. So the spell is there. Petman picks up a couple. 149 for three. Looks all right. Wagstaff still there. Deploy is out. Hide a rally. He's a gun. Three off 13. First ball looks good and he leaves. Okay, so maybe a change of mentality here for Wagstaff. Oh, maybe not. Is that going to carry it? Doesn't. 
150 up. Oh, he could be a long innings this as we're in. Oh, he looks to go over the top. Slower ball works. He just does not mess around. And I like it. Oh, I tell you what. Looking a little edgy. The slower ball, a little bit of nip ain't working. He sneaks it to forward point over done. And it's 150 for three. You just get one to nip back on him here. He's nervous. Oh, and he turns the corner, gives himself a single. Now he runs himself out. This game is incredible. He got to 87. He's now run himself out. You just knew something was going to happen. I thought he was going to run back. Could not believe that he committed to that second run. He's thrown away an innings. Thrown away any chance of Nottinghamshire losing this. Yes, you mark my words. He's out for 88. The single counts. It's four for one, five, eight. As Brooke Guest rolls to the middle. And, well, you'd call this a mini collapse. They were 100 for one. Now they're 158 for four. Guest faces up fresh. Me drives to mid off for no run. So a spell after that. And the long one is here. The partnerships continue. We've got to get the stamina up. Guest is still in the middle. It's 297 for six. I said, mark my words, we're not losing this game. Oh, and that is exactly why he's gone and dropped it. He's absolutely snoozing Alex Hales or Ben Duckett. It was full. It was fast. Maybe he's a little too close. And yep, Alf on a shelf. Can't quite get his mitts around it. Well, that breaks you. Chapel 35, feeling alive. This time he sneaks it to Duckett. And this time Duckett holds on to it. Thank you very much. We've got number two. Derby lose another week at the double fist clincher is there. And we are back, baby. Full fast out swinger. You can't do it twice. Because that is nice. Benny Duckett, well done, son. I'll buy your beer at seven for two nine seven. As M. Watt rolls to the wicket. The off spinner. Left-handed bat, out swinger. Oh, does him all ends up. So a wicket made and on return would look good. What drives the dot ball? 99 a bold and it's 297 for seven. They love a back foot drive and they love a square drive. Oh, and a thick outside edge for a dot. To see for me, they are some seriously good hands at Gully Sun. Oh, and there's a leading edge that goes through cover over cover for four, brings up the 300 and 101 a bowl. Well, we've been given a spell and not looked at yet again from ourselves, and we're gonna have to well, we're gonna have to roll out into the middle to face the pace. 322 Derby all out in the 114th over. Toby Petman picking up three. The RDB another bag of two. When is the five for coming? I don't know. But we're gonna be rolling out in the middle in the 43rd over at 160 for five. We trail by 162 runs. And ladies and gents, a week. We're going to leave it there for today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a cheeky comment down below and make sure you swing over and catch us in one of our live streams as well. But until the next time, look after yourselves. Look after those around you. Stay patient. It's the career of Robin DeBank. I'll catch us all in the next one.